rest around 4,993 to the nearest 1,000, as well as to the nearest 100. We'll be discussing how to round using the number line, as well as the formal rules for rounding outlined below. Let's first round 4,993 to the nearest 1,000. So using the number line, if we were to count by thousands, notice how 4,993 would fall between 4,000 and 5,000. So on the number line, we have a 4,000 on the left, a 5,000 on the right. In the middle, we'd have 4,500. Next, we'll plot 4,993 on this number line. Notice how it'd be here on the far right, close to 5,000. And now to use a number line to round to the nearest 1,000, we need to determine whether the given number is closer to 5,000 or closer to 4,000. And we can easily see it's closer to 5,000, which means 4,983 rounds up to 5,000 when rounding to the nearest 1,000. Now let's also round the given number using the formal rules for rounding. So beginning with the given number, step one, we identify the digit in the rounding place value. Because we're rounding to the nearest 1,000, the digit in the rounding place value is the four in the thousands place value. Step two, we look at the digit to the right of the rounding place value, which in our case is the nine in the hundreds place value. If the digit to the right is less than five, we round down. If the digit is five or more, we round up. So because the digit to the right is a nine, which is five or more, round up to round up, the digit in the rounding place value increases by one, and our digit to the right becomes zero. So we want to increase the four in the thousands place value by one, and therefore we'd have a five. Our digits to the right become zero, so we have a zero in the hundreds, a zero in the tens, and a zero in the ones, giving us a rounded value of 5,000. Now let's round the same number to the nearest hundred. So using the number line, if we were to count by hundreds now, 4,993 would fall between 4,900 and 5,000. And in the middle, we'd have 4,950. Now we want to plot 4,993 on the number line, which is going to be to the right of 4,950. Let's just say approximately here. And now to round to the nearest hundred, we need to determine whether the given number is closer to 5,000 or closer to 4,900. And once again, we can see it's closer to 5,000, which means 4,993 rounds up to 5,000 when rounding to the nearest 100. So notice how in this case, rounding the given number to the nearest 1,000 and the nearest 100 results in the same rounded value. Let's also round to the nearest 100 using our formal rules. So beginning with 4,993, step one, we find the digit in the rounding place value. So we're looking for the digit in the hundreds place value, which is this nine here. Step two, we look at the digit to the right of the rounding place value, which is the nine in the tens place value. If the digit to the right is less than five, we round down. If it's five or more, we round up. So because the digit to the right is a nine, we round up. To round up, the digit in the rounding place value increases by one, our digits to the right become zero. So we increase the nine in the hundreds by one, which would give us 10 hundreds. So because we have 10 hundreds, which is equal to 1,000, we perform an exchange, and we add a one to the four in the thousands place value. So the four becomes a five, our digits to the right become zero giving us a rounded value of 5,000. It didn't occur in these two examples, but if the digit to the right of the rounding place value is less than five, we round down. To round down, the digit in the rounding place value stays the same, and our digits to the right become zero. I hope you found this helpful.